This is Sports Chat with Nat. Eagles, Ravens. Oh my god. 100%. Oh my gosh. Derrick Henry, Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley. I the think off- Saquon battle will win of, right, that battle. Right, the battle of the offensive player of the year. I think Saquon will win that battle. Because I think the Eagles know how to use him better. The the Ravens have not shown me that they know how to use Derrick Henry. You know how when it's like, uh, what week is it that it's always like week five or whatever when it's a tight end day that we don't ever see their tight ends put like certain tight ends and then all of a sudden we see them in this only because it's tight end day and we were like, whoa, why, why haven't y'all been using them where they've been at and stuff? Do you think that because of this one and this, and how big they've been going back and forth between Derek and Saquon that they're going to, the Ravens are going to they know this and they're going to use him more because I have a feeling that they are going to use Derek more. I do, but, but, but they are seven and four for a reason. And the Eagles are eight and two for a reason. Nine and two, actually. Nine and two now. As much as I have been impressed with Lamar as a quarterback, the lack of use of Derrick Henry has frustrated me. Although I'm a Steeler fan and I don't want them to win nothing, but I like a good football game and I love to see good coaching. I was, I'm confused as to why they don't use him more. That's true. So it could, so I, again, are they saving him for the playoffs? Are they trying to avoid, are they doing the Joel Embiid? And keeping him for the playoffs. But the thing about it is you need to make playoffs in order to do that. And, yes, they have almost, in a sense, solidified that they're going. But the thing is it's so much of a low seed that that way, like, you're going to have to keep beating up everybody. And then about time it gets to AFC championship game that he's no use. I, I, I need the Eagles to win. Okay, I guess this will be your heart in football mind. So look, we'll we'll do your heart in football mind. I need the Eagles to win 28-24. I do like the Ravens, and they're playing at home. And I, I do – which I, the score I'm about to say is going to flip for both of them, uh, my heart and my football mind, because they're both the same. I feel like it's going to be 32-28. I just – I'm torn because – I feel like my heart is like I really want the Ravens to win. I just like them. I just like them better. My football mind is like screaming like the Eagles are going to win this. But that's why I said I think it's going to be 32-28. Like it's going to be it's close. Football mind. Football, football and heart mind is still going to be 32-28. Hart is just saying that it's going to be Ravens over Eagles. And then football mind is Ra- Eagles over Ravens. So, but I'm still with that score. I think it's going to be definitely that. It's going to come down to a five-point game. Cause okay, my heart, my football mind is 28-24 Ravens. And my heart is 28-24 Eagles. Eagles. Okay. 